To be quite frankly, unequivocally, no strings attached. Honest to you, the Atomus in Conan mode is ass. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a bit. It's honestly just okay. However, because of the evolutions, the Atomus kind of has its own like pack a punch now, and it makes the non incarnate form a little bit better, which is quite nice. The incarnate form works as follows beam enemies in the head and then turn it into an exploding projectile, which is just uh, kind of underwhelming against armored enemies. It's okay, but it's not good by any means if I'm comparing it to the other incarnate forms. Now, another issue with this incarnate form is the fact that it takes really long sometimes against really squishy enemies to charge your incarnate form because you have to beam their head and it's just, I don't know, it's very weird. It's not very smooth in terms of charging your incarnate form. Now, the problem with this weapon is this. The incarnate form on the projectile hits for impact and the radial attack does blast. Now, the only thing you could scale off of here is using maybe hemorrhage with the projectile, but that's not worth it because then that's just single target damage and it just doesn't make sense because you want to make it AoE, obviously. And if you put the evolutions into account, you only get about base 28% crit chance and 51% status chance with the incarnate form. Now, you may say that that could be quite a lot, but it's actually not because you you can't use galvanized shock because it's aoe so it doesn't apply so you will have to use the elemental 60 60 mods but that will only get you to about 81 percent status chance which is not good enough for a single shot aoe projectile with not that much multi-shot so you would need at least 200 percent status chance to scale any elements nicely with this weapon this leads me to my point the non incarnate is actually better here as you can at least do a viral heat or corrosive heat etc etc and scale the damage there way better than the incarnate form. Moving on to the evolutions. The second one. We have increased base damage by 24 and with energy max over 700 increased critical damage by 1 times. Then we have increased damage by 24 and on shield break increased damage by 30 for 8 seconds. This one is honestly better because there are only a few frames like vault that have over 700 energy max unless you use shards but why would you use energy shards for the atomos? It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, shield gating frames are the way for this evolution. Evolution 3 equals plus 7 range, increased ammo capacity to 560, and on reload increased magazine capacity by 5 stacks up 7 times. Here this is honestly what you want. This is all quality of life. I chose plus 7 range. You can choose what you want here. The last evolution is the usual status chance, crit chance, and then crit chance and status chance together. Here I chose the mix between each other to balance them out, but you can focus on one if you want. Onto the build, my good tenor. For this build, we go for a viral heat setup. Lethal Torrent, Galvanized Diffusion, Prime Target Cracker, or normal versions of these mods, Pistol Gambit, Pistol Pestilence, Ranked so that we can get status chance, Frostbite, a Bane of Choice, and then Primed Heated Charge for that big heat damage. And then we go Cascadia Flare because we are doing heat damage, so it makes sense. Alternatively, if you want to prime with the Cedo, here is the priming version of this build when you are wanting to do more single target damage with your non incarnate form. The incarnate form of this weapon does kill, but it struggles when you run into enemies that have a bit of armor. That's when this weapon struggles a lot, but for normal easy enemies, it's actually not that bad for clearing the more i play with it it's difficult to say which mode is better i know that sounds weird but after using this weapon a bit they both have okay aoe clearing capability i just prefer the non-incarnate form because the heat scales a lot better there and i find it does way more damage over time against demolishers it does actually pretty well with the heat damage scaling but you will need to use the cedar to do some priming and you'll have to use the beam so that you can actually use galvanized shot and so on and so on against acolytes well it's not bad actually this is the incarnate form that you're looking at here and it's okay and i didn't armor strip nor did i prime the point is is if you are comparing this incarnate form to others it's not that great but it's still usable and it still will kill if you did choose it this week don't beat yourself up too much it's okay it's not the worst ever that's literally all i have to say for this weapon I hope you enjoyed the quick video. That's the Encarna weapons for the week. If you haven't seen my Torrid video, go and check that out. It's really good. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.